Our final method to discuss um, for the valuation of assets is fair value accounting. And it has the distinction along with historical cost of being the only uh, method that is supported by the IFRS and it's also supported by the USA GAAP. So let me just recap that. Historical cost and fair value accounting are the only valuation methods currently supported by the international accounting standards. So IFRS, uh, represented here by AASB 13, defines fair value as the price that would be received to sell an asset or what you would pay to transfer a liability in an orderly transaction between market participants at the measurement date. So there's some important points to note there. The orderly transaction means that it's a normal, regular transaction and not a forced or rushed sale. Market participants assume that the buyer and seller are at arm's length, and it's a, this is a regular transaction. So there's no collusion and no sweetheart deals, no mates rates. So for this to work really, to value an asset under fair value, you need an active market in that asset. However, um, fair value accounting does allow for a series of measurement models. And these measurement models uh, fall, there are three models that fall into two types. The first two measurement models that we'll see on the next slide uh, are mark to market techniques. And this is what you use if the asset is represented by an observable market that has prices that are quoted publicly. And the first one that comes to mind with this uh, is the share market. The second model is mark to model techniques for assets that don't have an active model and don't have publicly available prices. So for these assets, um, fair value accounting allows you to use um, accepted modeling techniques that usually involve um, present values and cash flows. So fair value accounting allows three levels and this is in order of uh, the, from number one is the preferred one and number three is the least preferred. And the preference comes from objectivity. So level one uh, being the most reliable source of fair value the imports into your measurement model come directly from publicly quoted prices, such as in the share market, for example. Level two, uh, again, these are quite reliable. Uh, the value inputs to your value calculation are observable, but they're coming from similar assets, uh, not exact assets. So for example, if you're trying to value your motor vehicle fleet, uh, you might go to publicly available lists of valuations, standard valuations for those motor vehicles. Uh, level three is the least preferable, but still allowed, uh, that uses models to adjust, um, adjust for risk and to calculate a likely value. So the, the accountant has a lot of options available when using fair value. Um, so fair value offers more scope for valuing assets and it's supported by international accounting standards and it's supported in the USA as well. Uh, however, fair value pays much less attention to the effectiveness of management or the stewardship perspective. Um, it is far more concerned with um, providing decision usefulness in financial statements. Um, and also fair value accounting has been criticised because it can exacerbate va um, declining values of assets at times when there are, there's wildly fluctuating asset prices. And this occurred in the financial sector during the subprime crisis, when a lot of banks had 
um, had well, monetary instruments on their asset base. Not all of them were um, bad assets, but still their prices were being plunged lower uh, because of the, um, the ratings in the market. However, such criticisms can be considered unfair because fair value accounting does allow you a number of models to choose from. So you don't have to use level one or level two. So that's a quick rundown there of um, fair value and that brings us to an end to our um, quick tour of uh, different methods, different theories for measuring value. So I hope you found it interesting. Uh, our textbook, which we use from Craig Deegan, um, offers a lot more discussion. So I hope that after watching these videos, uh, the textbook will make a lot more sense for you. So good luck with that. Bye for now.